All right, all right. Um, guess it's time for another tutorial. So finals and all that are out of the way. School is gone away. It's bye bye, <laughs> at least for the next few weeks. So that's good. Uh, means I can have time to do some Carter Street, maybe make some videos for you guys. If I don't make videos, it just I don't know shows you how distracted I can get. But anyways, you are here for the brush change tutorial. Uh, I believe this was commented. Actually, before I get onto that, 500 subscribers, that became a thing sometime. I don't know, that's kind of a, it's not a crazy number, but to me, it's kind of crazy just to think that there are 500 subscribers. Um, I don't know, that's a lot of people. You could fill, you could fill a passenger jet with that. <laughs> maybe, maybe not one of my best analogies, but still, you get the idea. Um, appreciate it. Um, I know it's not about the subscribers or whatever, but still, that's that's just a cool milestone. I think uh, I thought I'd just shout that out really quick. Um, yes, brush change. This was requested on Instagram. Yes, on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, I will leave my uh, thingy <laughs> in the description below. You can check that out uh, after the video. But yeah, this was requested on Instagram. I think the brush change is a really visual color change. And the cool part about it is there is nothing covering the card when it happens. Um, as you can see, four of diamonds, we do that. And now it is the seven of clubs. So that's what it looks like. Um, that's about it. If you have ideas for tutorials and stuff, feel free to leave that in the description below. I know there have been a lot of requests for Barlow too. Um, I haven't quite gotten around to that. Um, so maybe, no promises, but maybe I'll try to get that out sometime in the future. But um, there are other tutorials on YouTube for that. That was kind of unnecessary. Anyways, you know the drill. Grab yourselves a deck of cards and let's get right into learning the brush change. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that the move itself isn't that difficult. It just consists of a double lift um, and then like the change itself that was the worst color change ever but the move itself isn't that like difficult it's just really finicky and uh, the challenge from it is just nailing it perfectly so that you don't see it uh yeah so first things first you want to use whatever double lift you're comfortable with so for me that's a uh in case you're wondering it's a pinky count and then a fake pushover or whatever you call it um but you can use whatever double lift you're comfortable with you just want to end with the two cards kind of out jogged in the front a little bit just like that um if you don't have a double lift that you like doing you can just riffle up the back until you have two cards not that dramatically, but you know, you get the idea. You get two cards and then you get a pinky break under it. And then you can just pinch the side here and then just flip it over like that. Um, if you do decide to do that, you might need a little, you know, patter to kind of, I don't know, divert attention or make it less, more subtle, less obvious. Yeah, anyways, okay. <laughs> Back to the color change. You wanna do your double lift and flip your card on over, just like that. Then you're gonna pinch this corner, the top right corner, the side without the pips, and you're gonna make this sort of brushing motion here. So you go up and down. Okay, future Tim here. I was just editing the video and I just realized that I did not specify how you should pinch the cards. So, uh, here's how you want to do it. So you have your double here. I'm going to actually move this out of the way. Okay, so you have your double here, right? And you have them together, and you're going to want to pinch it between your thumb and your index finger. Just like that. And your middle finger is going to go on the edge there. All right, so you're pinching with these two fingers to keep the double from splitting, right? And then your middle finger is going on the edge right there 
so that you can actually split it by moving your middle finger a little bit. Um, so when that comes in to play, where that comes into play rather, is when you're doing this and you're coming up, you have it in this grip and your middle finger is going to split it just a little bit like that. And you're gonna pinch it, pinch, actually it's gonna split it this way. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> you're pinching it here, you're splitting it this way actually. So your middle finger can pull a little bit so that you can grab the card underneath and boom, I explain more later on in the video, but I just thought I should clarify that for a second. Back to the video. And the move is one time when you go down, the last time, you're going to split the cards a bit, pinch the top one with your middle finger, and then you're gonna flick it, not like that, but you're going to, not flick it flat, but you're gonna pinch it so that when you bring it up, it goes flat and the one underneath is shown. The card underneath is uh, shown. Let me see if this is a good color change. I'll try to make one that looks obvious. I'm not sure if that was English. Okay. <laughs> Eight of diamonds, you do this and then you pinch it at the bottom and you do that. I think with the frame rate I'm at, you can actually see it pretty well which, I don't know, is a bad thing for color changes. But you do that, and then you're like, Phew. yeah, so get over into your position here um, with your double lift flipped over, right? As you can see, it's one card, two cards, right? Get your double lift, pinch it in the corner, and hold it like this, all right? Now, you should first be able to do this sort of brushing motion. Bring the camera down a bit more. Do this sort of brushing motion like that and what you're gonna do is at the very bottom well you'll have them together not split but at the very bottom you'll stick the little lip under your middle finger just like that and then you're gonna push off with your thumb a little bit just so you can see that that's the top card just so you can feel the top card then as you bring it back up you're gonna release with your thumb and then you're gonna wipe up with the bottom card. And hopefully you can do that all in one fluid motion so that it flows together. You're doing this, you go down, the lip goes under, you split it a bit, then you flick. And then you kind of do that thing. Now, in terms of things you can do to make it look uh, more subtle, less obvious, you can uh, make sure the speed when you come up is decent so that it kind of covers up what happened because um, obviously if you go too slow you'll see the card flick like you'll see this card go flush like if you do that you can kind of see that motion of the card doing this so if you keep your speed up when you're I'm gonna stop doing that cut but if you keep your speed up when you do this motion, it can help cover up the fact that this card is flicking inward um, that way. Um, other stuff to practice, I'd say the thing that I found most difficult when I was doing this was uh, learning how to do the pinch right at the bottom, like this coordinated move, the push off and pinch. Because if you pinch too much of the card, the corner will be over the edge so that it won't go flat because you know how that works you need to pinch just enough that this card stays but little enough that the card can still go flat on the deck if that makes any sense so finding that right balance um, just with your middle finger because your middle finger is the one doing the pinching uh, finding that right balance right there pinching it just a little bit and then being able to push off with your thumb as you do that motion, like that. Um, just finding the timing of that. Now, all right, let's go through this one more time. You have your deck of cards, you do whatever double lift you're comfortable with, and you have your double out jog, like that. You grab the corner, and you wipe up once, down once, you do your pinch thing, 
up, and you're done. I do Ferris. I uh, learned that from Chris Ramsey. Um, but it's a fun move to turn cards over. But anyways, yeah, that's sort of the rhythm that I go with. Uh, after the turnover, I do it like once just for the sake of retention. I do it once, and then the second time, try to get a close up here. Second time, I do a push over, pinch, bend, up, boom. And you are done. Your card is changed. Yeah, so that is the tutorial for the brush change. It's a pretty straightforward move. Um, yeah, not that much to it once you know what's going on. Um, but do take your time and practice that. Rewatch the tutorial if you want to, because um, it really comes in handy. It's just a super dope um, effect in general. And plus, people, if they're really paying attention, find it like mind blowing. I did too at first, because most color changes you have something fishy going on. Either you're like, you know, covering the card so like you can't quite see 100% of what's going on. Um, or you're like shaking the deck or the card like crazy, uh, but the brush change is just really clean There's a little bit of motion um, But you know you got to do what you got to do, but it's super super um, Great to watch what more can I say? Uh, Chris Ramsey has a tutorial on this um, You can go check that one out if you still have any questions Because um, that's a tutorial I learned it from so naturally you could, you could watch it if you want. Um, yeah, I'll recommend it. I'll recommend it. I do recommend it. Um, I think that wraps it up for today. If you are not subscribed, um, but you like watching my videos and you want to join the 500 other or so people, there is a red button down below. Feel free to click that if you want. Uh, leave a like if the video was helpful and uh, feel free to comment whatever you want. Uh, reading comments is really fun. That's about it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm phasing. Ha! Ah, see you guys in the next video. Peace. Ah, that was a reach. Okay. Yes. <laughs> That's actually a fun camera angle. Maybe I should do an intro like this. Just standing in the corner. Is there a distortion? There's a little bit of distortion, right? Ah, yes. I should do an intro just standing in the corner. Like, wait. Entrance. Yeah, okay. That was fun. I'll see you guys later with some other content. I was thinking about doing something like other than just tutorials and stuff. Uh, maybe researching something cardistry related I had an idea about maybe just going over what like different shuffles originated from different places I don't know it's kind of a rough idea let me know if you have any thoughts about it um but yeah maybe I'll make something fun anyways yeah that's that peace Whoa.